are the Baby Gators Book Club and every Friday at 2.15 we meet at the Galloway Library. I was a librarian in Dallas for close to 10 years and I used to do a program at an elementary school there. I'm just too tired. And it completely changed the climate of our school. It brought parents into our school, it made relationships with these kids, and it introduced reading at a young age. Then he pulled on his boots up. So now, as a result of the one program that was her brainchild here, um, we now see programs like this across our district. Awesome, here's your book. Minnie Mouse is a program that we started last April. Did you get a new backpack? We have some students this year that were present last year as well and we can definitely see a change in them. El Gato Pit estaba caminando por la calle con sus nuevos zapatos blancos. We do bilingual because number one, our campus is bilingual. It is brand new white shoes. We gather at the picnic and we read a short story. We read it both in English and Spanish. Happy birthday, Mason! Our Little Hoots program is designed for two-year-olds to about five-year-olds, but we have some that come younger. Good job, buddy. It's just a time to promote literacy, and we have fun and play games and always have a crowd. Did you know polar bears wear underwear? No, or is this realize. a made-up book? Made-up book. Yeah. If we can start reading and exposing our students and, and children to books, even at, you know, before one, just as infants. Polar bear, polar bear. Their chances of being successful in school and, and reading and becoming lifelong readers uh, greatly are increased. Hi, Willie. We are the Canada Little Readers. Shake them, shake them, shake them. The magic of being a reader doesn't happen overnight or on its own. Let's see B. Starting early and giving these experiences to children. Dancing and singing. Good job. They are all pre-reading skills that we are teaching. And studies have shown how important all those activities before we even touch or walk through the school door are. <laughs> Come on, sugar. We started Baby Hawks in the spring, our first year that we opened in the spring. We realized that a lot of our kids were coming here not knowing certain basic skills. Before, um, she really didn't let me read to her too much, um, but now she's more excited to. Okay, can you help me? She's like, okay, yeah, let's sit down, let's read a book. Today we use the up, down location words. Arriba, abajo. And I think they were getting it. They were even repeating them in English. Down here, let me help you. I'm hoping that we see a benefit of it when they come to school here in their pre-K program or in our kindergarten program. My number one advice for them is to just read, period, to the kids, whatever you can, read to them, and read to them a lot. Perro grande, perro chico. Big dog. Little dog. <laughs>